Hello everyone, this is Curious Minds Kannada YouTube channel and in this video we are going to learn about the question and answers of 7th Standard Science Chapter 1 Nutrition in Plants. I am your science facilitator Pooja. Come, let's start the video. Exercise Question number 1. Why do organisms take food? Answer Organisms take food to get energy for growth and maintenance of their body. Second question. Distinguish between a parasite and a saprotroph. Answer. Parasite. This organisms derive nutrition from other host organisms. Example, cascuta. Saprotroph. These organisms derive nutrition from dead and decaying organisms. Example, mushroom. Third question, how would you test the presence of starch in leaves? Answer, put some drops of iodine solution on a leaf. If it turns to blue-black, this shows the presence of starch in leaves. Fourth question, give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants. Answer, the process in which Plants prepare their own food in presence of carbon dioxide, water, sunlight and chlorophyll is called as photosynthesis. Fifth question. Show with the help of a sketch that plants are the ultimate source of food. Answer. All living beings depend on plants for food directly or indirectly. Example. Plants depend on plants deer lion that means deer eat plants and deer will be eaten by lion next plants that is grass insects frog snake lastly the eagle that means plants will be eaten by insects frog will eat insects snake will eat frog and eagle is going to eat snake Sixth question, fill in the blanks. First one, green plants are called dash since they synthesize their own food. Answer, autotrophs. Second one, the food synthesized by plants is stored as dash. Answer, starch. C, in photosynthesis, solar energy is absorbed by the pigment called dash. Answer, chlorophyll. D. During photosynthesis, plants take in dash and release dash gas. Answer. Carbon dioxide and oxygen. Seventh question. Name the following. First one. A parasitic plant with yellow, slender and branch stem. Answer is cascuta that is amar bell. Second one. A plant that is partially autotrophic. Answer, pitcher plant. Third one, the pores through which leaves exchange gases. Answer, stomata. Eighth question, tick the correct answer. First one, cascuta is an example of 1. Autotroph, 2. Parasite, 3. Saprotroph, 4. Host. The correct answer is option 2, parasite. B. The plant which traps and feeds on insects is 1. Cascuta, 2nd one China Rose, 3rd one Pitcher Plant, 4th one Rose. Correct answer is option 3, Pitcher Plant. Ninth question. Match the items given in column 1 with uh, those in column 2. Column 1 and column 2, here I have given the matched one. Chlorophyll, leaf, nitrogen, rhizobium, cascuta, parasite, animals, heterotrophs, insects, pitcher plants. Tenth question. Mark T if the statement is true and F if it is false. First one. Carbon dioxide is released during photosynthesis. It is false. 
Second one, plants which synthesize their own food are called saprotrophs. Answer, false. Third one, the product of photosynthesis is not a protein. Answer is true. Fourth one, solar energy is converted into chemical energy during photosynthesis. Answer is true. Eleventh one, choose the correct option from the following. Which part of the plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis? Option 1, root hair. Option 2, stomata. Option 3, leaf veins. Option 4, petals. The correct answer is option 2, stomata. Twelfth question. Choose the correct option from the following. Plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through their Option 1, roots. Option 2, stem. Option 3, flowers. Option 4, leaves. The correct answer is option 4, leaves. Thirteenth question. Why do farmers grow many fruits and vegetable crops inside large greenhouses? What are the advantages to the farmers? Answer. By growing fruits and vegetables inside large greenhouses, their growth can be improved as the weather, temperature, growing seasons can be optimized. Advantages of greenhouses are as follows. Pest control, temperature, sunlight and humidity can be regulated as per the crop's requirement. Increased crop production and growing healthy plants. So these are the answers for the question given in your science and CRT textbook. I hope this video is helpful for you all. If yes, please like our video and share it. If you have not yet subscribed our channel, please subscribe it. Thank you.